Hello everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Cove. Thanks for joining me today. I thought we'd have some fun playing with paper. It's been a while since I've actually just sat down and played with glue and paper. I've been busy sketching and knitting and uh, painting that I thought I haven't played with paper in such a long time. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just make clusters. Uh, I think that's what they're called, where I just glue layers of paper on top of paper. Nothing new, uh, nothing overwhelmingly super exciting about it but it's a really fun way to use up some scraps and then have some uh, instant ready to glue down into your journals whatever it is you're working on so I'm still working on this guy here those uh, cards that I showed you in a couple of other videos and I'll try and remember to link that um, and just trying to put uh, these together and play with new ideas and techniques and now I have something instant that can go in a journal so here I am just going to glue this right down and I thought this would be kind of a fun exercise it's kind of like a craft along with me today um, no major lesson or tutorial today just something fun grab your your gear and your goodies and uh, let's play with some scraps so there's a there's one that just went down. So I thought we could play with that. Let's do some. Hopefully I don't run out of glue stick. I'm not overly prepared. Do I have another glue stick? Yes, I do. Sweet. And then I just have a whack load of scraps. Just a whack load of different bits and bobs that I've accumulated and pulled out. So I start basically with clearing myself some space to work in and then I just kind of tear and and glue so let's make sure these are in frame here yep and uh I just start tearing so I, I pull scraps and I glue them down and as you can see I do like the neutral colors I'm, I prefer to work with some, a soft palette I will occasionally throw some color in I've got some sketches and random little bits and bobs that I've painted in the past that you know I didn't like or whatever and I've cut them up and I'll use those in here they might get covered they might not uh, it's all just about putting things down and uh, and playing so these bits that I have here I honestly I don't know where I've got them from so I apologize that I won't be able to tell you where those sorts of things are from. Uh, there are obviously some kit or some paper that I bought a very long time ago, back when I first started junk journaling and was really into um, just building books at the time. I wasn't as uh, creative or, what's the word, adventurous as I am now. Uh, it took me a while to get to this point. So I did buy a lot of, I did buy a lot of um, papers and things like that back then. Not so much anymore. I, I tend to like to use my own drawings and things like that now. Um, and like I said, I, I tend to stick to neutral palettes. So I just have fun using up whatever I can get my hands on. Um, sometimes I'll find a, a kit that I can't resist. The trouble... I have with some of these kits is they're just so beautiful that I don't want to cut them up. I don't want to, I just kind of want to wallpaper my room with them. Some of these kits are just fantastic that you can find on Etsy or websites and things. And I just, uh, I have a hard time cutting them. Same with when I buy a pack of paper that I really like, I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cover it. So I found that really hard. Uh, um, to buy paper and not use it and then to buy paper I love and cover it or cut it so I decided to simplify my life a little bit by using up things like this things that are kind of random and out of a book that's no longer useful and just recycling things that way I'm not trying to discourage you from buying kits or anything I mean I have kits on my own Etsy store but sometimes uh, they're so beautiful that you don't want to cut them up <laughs> and this too, this little exercise we're, we're doing today is a really great way to use up some of your own little goodies that you've made. For example, I showed you how to make these little labels using inks and stamps. And now they're 
You know, there's nothing very specific in the picture, but it adds a really lovely texture to the overall clutter. <laughs> the clutter, not the most professional sounding thing, but you know what I mean. Uh, some sketches, and I just pulled out a bunch of different bits and bobs. So here's the sketch. We could throw that in there again on a label because that's how I like to sketch. And I just kind of cover it up and, you know, just build away and build these little layers of papers and clusters. I think they call them clusters. I'm pretty sure they do. And by they, I mean like the junk journaling community. <laughs> they. And I just like gluing stuff down. So I'm covering up my, my drawing. But if you don't want to cover it up, obviously you'd put it down last. And I just like to build up these little layers, these decorative papers. And, it, you know, to be honest, pretty simple papers. Nothing too elaborate. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Using this guy in here. And uh, just having fun, relaxing, gluing away. It's been a while since I have, like I said, I've done any of that. So it's nice to get back to it. Just throw that in there. And sometimes doing simple stuff without overthinking is the best, best way to go sometimes, you know? Hmm. So do a couple more of these. I'm not inking them as you can see. I'm leaving them very neutral, very plain. And I thought I did pull out something with color, just to show you how you can introduce some color. So here's a feathery one. Here's some pink, butterfly. So you can always add colors that you like. You can fussy cut out the butterfly if you want. So I covered right over that sticker, but that's okay because the edge of the sticker is still showing. So even though the sketch is covered, the layering effect is still there. So it's a great way to use up stuff that you weren't happy with. Say you didn't like that sketch, well, you can still use the label. Do I want to put a B on that one? Let's see, I've got a mushroom. Maybe we'll just leave this one plain and stamp on it. These ones, um, these are old things that I had made with my pressed flowers and then I just photocopied them so that I would get more than one use out of it. I have a really nice yellow one in here. I think that might look quite nice on this. If I can find it in the stash here. So many things. Here it is. So this is uh, pressed buttercups that I did. And then I built a little envelope or something with them, but I, I took a bunch of them and photocopied it um, because I think it's nice to use your work more than once. You know, you can take these clusters that you're doing with me today and photocopy them and use them over and over again or scan them and make papers with them. And, uh, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of work doing junk journals. It's a, a labor of love, but it still is work. And so it's nice to be able to use your stuff over and over again. I'm not sure I like him on there. I might move him over to here. No, nope, don't like him there either. So I think I'll leave those for now and start another one. I can always come back to them. Find another piece of paper to work on. Something like this. Maybe we'll use this whole, oh, not the pink. Let's use some music note paper. So when I choose papers, I tend to get drawn to the vintage-ness of paper. So old paper. Um, I even like the smell of old paper. I know, it's weird. I walk into a library and I'm just, oh yeah, home sweet home. <laughs> it smells like musty books sometimes and I really love that smell. Um, so I am really drawn to 
old looking papers. They don't have to be old. So this is obviously not an old paper. It's just a scanned copy of an old paper, but it's still got that charm and I really like it. So I tried to use them in my journals. So this is how I pick my papers just by the color. And then the second thing I look for is texture. So the music notes, the print, the handwriting, uh, all these different things, numbers are all, I consider all texture. And that's why to me, it doesn't matter if they're upside down or the right way up. They're, uh, they're, I think of them as um, an element more than, than an actual word or something like that. If that, if that at all makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense or not. I'm kind of in my own little world right now. So talking and creating at the same time with this mess on my desk can be a challenge. Can be a big challenge. <laughs> so bear with me. I'm just trying to find a plain label, something like this. So this is just a label that I stained with ink at one point for something. And now I'm going to stick it down. So I think I'm going to stick this inside it. So if you want, you could ink around this and really make it pop. But like I said, I'm not getting into the ink today. I just want to keep it easy and playful. And if I had more words, I would definitely add words. But I, like I said, I don't buy ephemera much or pre-printed things. Um, I know that I have a book here somewhere. There it is. So this is my my book of I've had it a long time and it probably won't fit in the camera right now back you out a bit my camera's getting the stand is getting really wonky sorry um so this is an old book of mine that I kept and it's an old um I guess cd album or something and I keep all my ephemera in it in a binder so these are all old ones so here's some mushrooms maybe we can pull that out I put some my sketches that maybe I don't like anymore or wasn't too pleased with the mushrooms we'll pull those out bugs I was looking for some words so one day I would kind of print words off of um, a word program and just kind of use them when I need them and I haven't been into this for so long so here's a sketch for example that I did on a piece of paper and I don't know what to do with it so I'll throw it in here and it will end up in one of these clusters probably. This is ephemera that I would have bought a long time ago. Here's some words. I think these are flowers. We'll pull a couple of those out. So this storage is really fun. Oh, here's some stamps. Uh, is a really fun way to store your things and organize them in a way that's useful. Here's some dollar store birdies. <laughs> don't even remember. Here's pink, pink butterfly. I don't even remember buying this stuff. Uh, some carvings that I've done. And here's some ephemera that I've already made with pressed flowers and stuff that we could possibly add. I'm just going to pull a few things out here while I'm here. So might as well. Some flowers, some rub-ons. And I think the rest are just dried flowers. Dried flowers that I've pressed or purchased, which we won't get into right now. Oh, here's some more words. This is the old fashioned. Um, remember those, uh, what are they called? Photo albums? So this is a fun way to keep your, your words too. I'll just pull a few out. And I don't know what I have in here. Oh, well, here's some numbers. Oh, good. <laughs> I've been in here for so long. I can't even remember what I have. So there you go. This is numbers I would have typed up and printed on coffee stained paper. So we could use those. Some more paintings and pressed flowers. And again, they're photocopies of things that I've made. So more use out of them. So let's get this out of the way and get back to business. Pulled a few things out, so that's good. And just cluster away. So I think I will add some of these fun numbers. 
just for just for fun right why not why not and just throwing that in there I'm just gonna put it right there so I think that one's done just something simple that I can glue in a book to make a couple of them so I'll move that one out of the way and maybe we'll put this number running across here there's quite a few numbers on that one plants I got the word plants don't like the color of that what else did I pull out vintage it's kind of fun use that and it's bright white but that's okay kind of offsets all the soft tones we'll put that in there it is 19 degrees outside I can't believe it and I'm wondering why I am inside <laughs> when it's 19 degrees outside. But I was just in such a mood to create. And 19 degrees, or I think it's 20 degrees even, in April here in Ontario is pretty rare. Yeah, it does happen, but it's rare. So you want to take full advantage of it. But I have to clean out my trailer, and I keep procrastinating. So uh, I was in the mood to create. I was in the mood to do this. So I'm going to... I'm going to allow myself to do this and then go out and get to work. So there's a cute little one. You could put stamps on here. I didn't pull my stamps out. That would have been fun to show. You can just add stamps to that. Or, you know what? Do your own sketching. Ha ah, You know me. You get sketching on it. I don't think I have a pen here. I do. And just do your own little doodles coming out. And pull you back in maybe a little bit. My camera's about to fall from this stand. And just sketch away. Just relaxed. That's the name of the game. Just something simple like that. There. Put that one over there. And maybe we'll do one more. Or maybe two. <laughs> well, this one we didn't finish. Let's finish this one. So I was thinking maybe some mushrooms for this guy. Got these cute little cutout mushrooms. I don't know where I got those. They're definitely fussy cut. And then I found the word mushroom somewhere. Here it is. Did I spell it right? Something like that. See how the pink throws me off? It throws me off. I have a hard time adding color certain colors so the brown doesn't bother me and the pink really doesn't bother me but I have a hard time being comfortable with it and that's when you know you have a very specific palette that you like and it's natural to have something you're you're drawn to so I'm gonna brown that up a little I'm gonna neutralize that pink a little bit so just a little bit's poking out I'll put my mushrooms down I'll put the word mushroom across the bottom. And I want to put a number in there. Put a number running up the side. And so it's all about layers on these. So that original sticker I put down is still here. And it just gets layered and layered in all these different colors and textures shine through and they would probably even more if it was inked um, if you took the time to ink each piece but I wanted to keep it relatively simple so we'll do we'll do one more let's do one more and see what you're up to and what uh if you want to share anything with me on Instagram feel free to do so a lot of you have been doing that and I just absolutely love seeing all these stunning things that you guys are making all the sketches you're doing and so I'd love to see some clusters that you guys make and curious what might appeal to you 
for a cluster, what colors you come up with, what materials you have handy to use. Here's a sketch, let's throw that down. So these little quickie sketches we do of flowers, and then you can photocopy them like I said in the video and now use the original in something else. So you can get quite a bit of use out of it. And I just like to layer. I don't think, I don't sit there and think, oh, what would look nice there? What will, what should I put there? Because the minute I start doing that, I get overwhelmed and nothing gets produced. I just take it and stick it. <laughs> Postcard. Just the word postcard. So when you're in a creative slump and you don't know what book to build next or what creative process you want to do, these little clusters are a great way to bust through that creative slump. Or picking up my thing that I like to do is picking up a pen and doodling. That's how I get through my creative blocks. And I get a lot of them. It's a lot of work to be creative. Come up with ideas and execute those ideas. And if you're a YouTuber, then, you know, teaching those ideas, conveying them in a way that people can follow along with you uh, can be a challenge. And so I like to reser revert back to more simplified projects, something like this. I'm just gonna glue that down on the back. And there's another one. And again, you can doodle. So I'm gonna keep playing myself, but I don't want the video to be too long. And I uh, just wanna show you some fun ideas for clusters. And then again, just sticking them in a journal. When, you're, when you've got a blank page, and you're not sure what to do with it. So this is, uh, again, the, what is it called? The uh, thank you cards that we had. And we glued together. And so now I've got something I can just stick right on there. And Bob's your uncle. The page is done. Fun stuff. I glue that right now. And get this book finished eventually. This is kind of... Uh, a work in progress this little book I keep building it and building it and I haven't even put it all together yet it's not even technically a book <laughs> it's just folders <laughs> miss this edge just folders of uh, different bits and pieces put together and I have these really pretty stickers I wonder if that would work why not um yeah and then you've got these really fun little bits and pieces to add to your journal. So here's some. I use an up scraps. Very simple, quick. You can make a lot of them in a few minutes and just have fun. So I hope you liked that video. I hope it gave you some ideas. Have fun, be creative, and uh, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you feel like it, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks guys. Bye.